Right now, this is, you're going to start off on making four sheets of fabric as if you were to be making a bifold, but don't stick them together. Just make the fabric right now. Okay, so now that I have four strips, I have one, two, three, and four strips that are, I'll show you again, eight and three quarters inches long. So now that I have these three, I'm going to cut out a nine inch strip. So uh, I'll do that now with the pink polka dot. I will cut out a nine inch strip. Sorry, that's my sister. I'm texting her. She's on her way back from Georgia. She went to Six Flags. So I got a nine inch. I know you can't see it. It's right here though. My, I don't have like a tripod stand or whatever they're called. So I have to use, it's sitting on a bunch of CD cases right now. And over that it's kind of tilting because I have a duct tape roll sitting there. And I'll check that message here in just a second. Um, so I'm going to take and stick both white sides. That way it's polka dot on, out, on the outside, so the white side is touching the white side. I'm going to line them up on the bottom. Well, here I'll do this. Just take it, make sure it's even, and I'm going to lap over about an inch or so. Just put half, half on the tape and half of it sticky side. And I'm not a very good direction teller, so maybe you guys can do this. And then I'm going to fold this sticky side over to the other side of the tape. So therefore, we have something that looks like this. So now your step is to cut all um, the access off right here, as you can tell. So do that step now. Okay, so now you're just going to put the sheets together as if you were to be making a bifold. You will trim the edges, get all the excess off, um, close in the sides and close in the bottom, as well as if you were just to be making the billfold of the bifold. So do that step now. Okay, and I'm sorry I have so many like different clips in this video. I'm just trying to cut down on time. That way I can actually upload it. Um, so I'm sorry about that. I know that's not a good way to do a video, but... Now it just looks like I have two bifold um, billfolds. So basically, this is how you're going to make it. You're going to get two, start from here, you're going to take two bifold billfolds, and I'm going to lay it together like this right here, and then I'm going to get a strip that is eight and a third long. So I'm going to go from and I'm going to do eight and a third. Except I'm not going to cut the strip in half just because it would stay together better if it's in one piece instead of a half of a piece and then half of that piece being on half on one side and half the other. So now I've just got a complete half on one side and then another complete half on the other, if that makes sense. Um, so now I'm just going to make sure they're both lined up And I'm going to stick them together like this. So now you have a billfold here, a billfold here, and I usually like to stick another white piece of tape through right here, and I will do that um, before this is over with. So now I have a piece, and make sure, like, see how mine's kind of hard to fold? I'm going to go back. And I'm going to take this strip off here, and I'm going to leave just a tiny, tiny bit of gap. Well, a tiny, tiny gap right there, as you can tell. That way it'll fold much easier. So now my women's wallet is still, is about eight and a half inches long. So... That gives me room, so now that I have two billfolds, I'm going to start on my pocket. So I'm going to do, let's see, 
I'll probably do white pockets, which my camera's going to have to come up a little bit. Let's see. Now you're at a different kind of view type, I guess. Sorry about that. So now that you have your part of your room is light, I'm going to make pockets. Sorry, I'm not like the best at recording and all that type of stuff, but at least I'm doing this. And I'm really doing the tutorial on how to make a woman's lot because I didn't get my big order video out and it, um, I didn't get to record it because they got the stuff sooner than what I thought to go sell. So I didn't have enough time to um, do that. So now I'm just going to take my card and maybe you can see uh, you'll eventually get to see and I'm going to cut about an inch over my card so my card's right there and I want to cut about an inch over another inch over another inch over and I'm not really sure how many pockets I'm going to do in here right now I have one, two, three, four I'll probably do six three on the bottom but there will be more than six pockets in it so now that I have six of them uh, I'm going to darn. I didn't bring my clear tape. I'll be right back. Okay, so now you're just going to place your cards. You're going to make your card slots as if you were to make them any way um, to put in a, any wallet. So you'll just um, make the pockets, put the trim on them, and stick them in your wallet. Um, you can. The best way I would do it would clear tape the backs of them, uh, and I'm interrupting clips like this just to um, get it get all the waste of time and um, if you want to know how to make it bifold wallet I have a tutorial up and a new tutorial will be coming soon when I reach either 100 or 150 subscribers so that will be coming soon so just go down it, the video is down towards the very bottom it's one of the first ones um, and it, the name of it is how to make a baffled wallet. So go check that out and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and have a nice day. Okay guys, I now have the woman's wallet finished but it's not pressed yet. But here it is. It is eight. It ended up being eight and a half. Which is slightly a little bigger than a baffled. Um, so now I will take you through what I did. I have no foot over lines whatsoever no foot over lines but I didn't line it up because it just looks better random um, I have a pocket there a pocket there I did I did seal off the top of the trim sealed off the top that way my brother's coming home so I have to hurry I already showed you the bottom now I'm going to show you one, one there, two, three, four, and the ID. If you would like to order a woman's lot, they are $10 plus $3 for shipping, so PM me if you would like to order one. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hey, YouTube. I really hope you liked the video that I did. And I hope y'all make um, a woman's wallet like I made mine. And if you have any questions or if you would like to give me tips or if you would like just to tell me I did a good job on this tutorial, then comment below. If you would like to order a women's wallet, as I said, they are $10 plus $3 for shipping. If anything extra, like a coin pouch, they will be $15, $3 shipping. And I hope you guys liked the video. I hope y'all subscribe to me. Don't forget I have a contest going on and it ends August the 13th. And I haven't figured out my prizes yet. So yeah, I think they're all going to be mystery prizes. But they will be good prizes. Don't worry. And I, and again, I thank you guys for watching this. And I hope you thumbs up, favorite, share to Facebook and Twitter. Um, favorite it. Um, comment on it. Whatever you think it, the need is to do. And I hope you make a wallet. And if you make a wallet my way, then I will be more than happy to watch it. Also, I do do reviews. So if you would like to send me a wallet for me to review it, I will do it. Have a nice day.